This is Shell Kirby 707, and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U. So in the last part, we started on this game, and we did two levels, and we uncovered a secret level, but we will head to that one later. And, um, before I start, yeah, I do realize that my screen has, like, little waves in it, but there's nothing I can do to fix it, so... Yeah, but it's not that, it's not that noticeable, so... I didn't even bother fixing it. I mean, I can't even, so... Just deal with it, so yeah. I mean, of course, I'm doing a camcorder last play, but that's what I do with my channel. All right, anyways, we're gonna take on the tower, which is Crushing Cog's Tower. Let's go. So, yeah, I, I looked at the first episode, it, it didn't look too bad. I mean, I noticed that there were like waves in it, like little static waves, a little bit, but it's not that noticeable, so I didn't even bother. But, anyway, the first dark one is right there, really easy to get. Not, too hard to miss. So yeah, anyways, um, in most towers throughout this game, they're all gonna be, um, well, what you call it, the boss is gonna be, um, Boom Boom. So yeah, I think his make, he made his first appearance in New Super, not New Super Mario Bros., um, Mario Brothers 3, the, you know, the classic game. I think he's in that game, I believe so. I can't recall, but, hey, I haven't really played the classic Mario games. I mean, I seen uh, my mom play like the third one. We used to have it, I think. But yeah, but she mostly plays Super Mario World. I always seen her play Super Mario World, and I would love to play that game or even LP it, but I don't have the game right now. I mean, I need to download it on the Wii U shop or whatever. Anyway, the second Star Coin is right up there as soon as I get it. <laughs> and I hate these dry bones. Oh my god, these dry bones were so annoying in Super Mario 3D World. Seriously, I mean the flying ones aren't. Are annoying. They're, I don't think they have the uh, what you call it, the the walking ones. They have the flying dry bones in Super Mario 3D World. And I keep pressing the run button because I've been recently playing Super Mario 3D World. So I keep pressing the the trigger button to do a long jump. But this is not Super Mario 3D World. This is new Super Mario Brothers U. Um, anyways, you got a red ring here. Uh, red rings, as usual, they give you items. Um, I don't really need it, but hey, if you got the item that they think that you already have, they give you a one up. So. Use your one up. I mean, this game is pretty generous with one ups. Alright, so yeah, we're almost done with this uh, this level. I mean, it's not that long. This is the easiest tower. And I believe the third one is somewhere around here. You just got past these cogs, and then you should be good to go. Alright, so let's pass up here, up here, and then let's uh, go right here where there's a secret alcove right here. And this pipe will take you all the way up. Not that hard to miss, um, star coins. It's pretty much <laughs> easy. And they give you another, f um, ice flower. Which is another, um, um, ugh, power up that they shown in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I really love the glowing effects in the snowballs. I mean, look at that. It's shiny. I love it. Of course, I like snow, so of course I would like this. And as usual, um, whenever you face the boss, or be before you face the boss, they give you a fire flower. Because, you know, fire flowers are much more better than ice flowers. Which... In this case, I will trade it for a fire flower. So yeah, because usually fire flower does damage to the boss. So it's really helpful if you don't want to jump on them. You just want to be cheap and just <laughs> just fire away. Oh, if I don't get hit by Boom Boom, that is. All right, and after this, this is really easy. Just stomp on him three times. Yep, because three is the magic number in Nintendo or in any video game, really. Well, mostly Nintendo, I think it's a magic number. Alright, there we go. Course clear. And hey, there's an acorn. I want to grab that acorn. So we cleared the tower. Awesome. And onwards to the next level. And yes, I can use Miiver to share my thoughts. I know, I know, I know. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I, I get it. Uh... Maybe, maybe not, uh, not now. I like to see other Miiverse Mie posts, but I pr probably won't write any Miiverse stuff. I mean, if you guys are following along, then yes, and I did not want to save, because you never know, something could happen. Well, anyways, let's grab an acorn, and there we go. Alright. So yeah, on Miiverse, you can check out other people's posts from Miiverse. I might be, I might post stuff in between videos, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, we got Acorn Plane 3, Yoshi Hill! I love Yoshi, they're so cute. And yes, from the title, we will be introduced to another mechanic in this game, Yoshi. But she should be around here somewhere. Um, nope, not 
not yet. Okay. <laughs> but we do have Monty Moles, which make a return from Super Mario World. I mean, that's where they first were introduced in the platforming game, at least. And we got Yoshi! And Yoshi, he can do his flutter jump so you can get a little extra boost. And as you see, for the berries, as you see throughout the stages, um, if you get five of them, um, he will give you an item. Or one of. Well, he'll give you an item regardless. Anyways, you want to drop down here, and there's a red pipe, which will lead you to a secret. Alright, so anyways, um, from Yoshi, he can actually bounce on Piranha Plant, which is really nice. So you won't get damaged if you're riding on Yoshi, which is really awesome. And you have to do not burn those uh, Piranha Plant because, well, you'll be screwed if you, if, for that, um, uh, ugh, that star coin. Eh, Yoshi! Yoshi! <laughs> yeah, so um, if you get hurt, yeah, Yoshi will run away. And if you want to get him back, get a chase after him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, where's the third star coin? I don't remember. Well, anyways, oh, we got five, um, five berries, and Yoshi gave us an item. And why do I need that mushroom? I don't need that mushroom. All right, you know, let's get some berries again. I mean, I want a different item. I didn't want the ice flower, but I took it by mistake. Oh, I remember now. The third star coin is around here somewhere. You just gotta avoid these Monty Mo because these guys are really annoying. Um, as you see, there's a pile of all oh, coins. No, 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 Yoshi. Ah, uh, frick. Really? This is why I hate Monty Mole because they really death number two. Great. Alrighty then. <laughs> Too bad I'm not big because yeah. In Super Mario 3D World, when you die, you you still uh, become Big Mario, which is really awesome. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> Come on, this is the easy level. Why did I die this easy level? That's death number two. Alright. Well, let's grab the... Ugh. Gosh, I cannot talk today. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's go up here. Avoid the Monty Mose again. Let's avoid them, Yoshi. How about that? Let's avoid them. Alright, anyway, these coins right here, they, you want to go down because they lead to a red pipe. A secret red pipe, that is. And this will take you to another star coin, which is the very last one. And all you do is just do a simple jump, and that's pretty much it. That's all the star coins. And yeah, there is no secret levels throughout these levels, so that's really awesome. Did I say secret level? I mean secret exit. <laughs> I keep saying that, which is a common thing for everyone. Everyone keeps referring secret exit to secret levels, which they are not. I mean, they are secrets, but they don't lead to... They're not secret levels, they are secret exit. And I think that's pretty much it in this level. So let's go and get the flagpole, get the flagpole. Yeah! Yay! Awesome! Unfortunately, though, we can't bring Yoshi. I know, it's very sad. In Super, Mar in Super Mario World, you can bring Yoshi, but not in this game, which sucks. However, though, we see a pink Yoshi in the distance. Uh, which one's the fourth level? <laughs> I want to do this in order. Uh, is this the fourth level? Yes, it is. All right, Mushroom Heights. Before we do, you want to grab a baby Yoshi. Hello, baby Yoshi! Yoshi! Hey, I'm baby Yoshi! Yoshi! Looks like you know where to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. He's so adorable. I love these baby Yoshi. They're so cute. Anyway, this is a uh, no ordinary baby Yoshi. But anyways, uh, be I'll say a little bit more details in the level. But anyways, go to Acorn Plains for Mushroom Heights. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Mushroom Heights. All right, here we go. So anyways, um, there are three different types of Yoshi Yoshis, but this one is pink. I like the pink one because this one can fly. Or actually, it turns into a balloon. I, th I believe you're given 10 flight, I believe, uh, a limit of 10 uh, puff, I guess, as you could call it. <laughs> so yeah, you can fly for 10 times with this pink Yoshi, which is really awesome. I like this one a lot. I mean, it breaks the game pretty much. Alright, so anyways, you do need a pink Yoshi for this level because most of the star coins are up in the air. So you want to kind of keep this little baby Yoshi throughout the level. Otherwise, well, you're kind of screwed. Alright, checkpoint here. Um, I'm trying to remember where all the star coins is at. By the way, pink Yoshi, they eat enemies, which is really awesome. Alright, oh, keep flying, Yoshi, keep flying. Come on. 
Yeah, I believe he's given 10 puffs, and after that he can't um, fly anymore. Yes, eat the piranha plants, eat the Koopas, eat everything in your sight, Baby Yoshi. Yes, this Baby Yoshi is like Kirby. Well, not necessarily, because Kirby... This Pink Yoshi can't eat big enemies, at least from what I've seen. Um, these are actually different kinds of um, coins. These are green coins. I think they do the same thing as red coin. They give you items, so... Or one-ups. But I believe they do give you items as well. So they kind of, kind of make um, the same mechanic as red coins. And get up there. There we go. So yeah, they have the same role as red coins. Alright, um, the last red, not red coin, the last star coin is right here. You want to be extra careful because, well, these crown plants are kind of blocking your way. There we go. Alright, awesome. So yeah, the pink Yoshi, he can't eat the big piranha plants or any big enemies, so that's unfortunate, but that's okay. He can at least eat most of the, oh, oh, baby Yoshi, oh my god. <laughs> I want to get a flagpole. Give me the flagpole. And what the good thing is that you can keep the baby Yoshi until you lose it in the level, which is really awesome. So, since you can't bring the adult Yoshi, you can actually bring the baby Yoshi, which is handy. I like that a lot. Alright, we're going on 11 minutes. I think I'll stop it here because... Yeah, I'll stop it here. Um, well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I'll stop it here. So, next time on New Super Mario Bros. U, we will continue in Acorn Plane with Acorn Plane 5 and take on the tower. And also with the secret level in Acorn Plane. So, I will see you guys then. So, this is Shaw Kirby 707 saying bye!